Today's the tune day. We have to be at Dinah at 8.30. Tow this there. So I'm probably gonna call them around seven. Just so I'd rather be early than late, obviously. I've been running the car. I got about 30 kilometers in on the new engine and the transmission. We've dumped the one. We're on the second batch of oil and now we're going to be draining this one. I'm going to our third and final one for the two, which is this driven stuff. This is what everyone recommends. This driven stuff apparently is really fucking good. So that's what we're gonna be going with. We have to remove the intake manifold, put in the GTR injectors and the 75 millimeter throttle body, fill up the new oil, turn the car on, make sure that there's at least no misfires. It's okay if it's on limp, obviously, because it's not tuned, but as long as there's no misfires, we should be okay. So we're gonna change out the a stock auto body injectors for these new GTR ones that I got. And by new, I mean new to me, because they're used as fuck. Um, yeah, so I need to clean these. They're, they're a little dusty just from storage because they were perfectly mint. But we're changing them out for these. And we're gonna be putting our 75 millimeter throttle body from Z CZP. So I'll show you guys how I do that. I'm first gonna just take it, I'm gonna take the intake manifold out, show you guys me changing the injectors, and then we'll change the throttle body after and we'll kind of walk through that because the injectors are the easy part. I'm not too worried about it. All right, so my brother's gonna be holding this for me and I'll walk you guys through what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, so first we're gonna take out these three bolts here because these are easy to access. These ones I always take out. You don't need these in. I had to buy these off Amazon because my intake manifold didn't come with them. I bought this one brand new used as well. <laughs> Brand new use is a wild term. <laughs> bro, I paid like 400 for this thing, bro. It's like a thousand dollars. We shipping it. So take these out, and then these are 10 mil on each end. I fucking love this building. How can be? You got this for a deal as well, no? I got this. I got this plus the stubby impact. But I think like. Everyone put in the comments, the Walter oh, Milwaukee. Shit. Let us know. I took out the whole stunt. Oh, whatever. That's probably not the best thing. That's probably not a good idea, but whatever. Well, that's gonna have to be put back now. So now those are all out. Damn, I honestly love this bumper, dude, but the side skirt sticks out so far that you're literally leaning like another fucking like... <laughs> no, no. Hey. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> like Yo, the this setup is crazy. So I got I got this Allen the wrench. Janky ass setup. I had to I literally put this on the drill and then ran it with the grinder to shave it so it fits between the runners. Because I also don't have the bolt. That's what happens when you get brand new used stuff. <laughs> brand new used has to be put in the dictionary somewhere, bro. I'm telling you. That's fucking hilarious. I only use like an 8 mil, like something that's big enough to give you a little bit of leverage, but not long enough that like you can start damaging it by cranking on it. So when I use something this small, I know I'm not like, like completely fucking. The last one's always the biggest pain, yeah, I think eh? This one might be getting fucking stripped. Give me that the pliers. Say psych right now. There's just no psych. Nice. There you go. I cracked it loose. Thank God. So now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna put a new bolt here. I don't ever put the same bolt down here two times. Because if it gets stripped, it fucks your life up. Yeah, man, I'm trying to extract that shit, bro. I don't know how the fuck you would even do it. You just have to cut all every single tube. I don't know how else you do it, brother. What we got going on over here? I just have to cut this zip tie. Because who actually uses actual anchor points for your harness? Zip ties do the trick. Some say zip ties are the cryptocurrency of the car community. Type shit. 
By some I mean fucking me, dude. I think this is a seven. Keep the silicone job on this thing, dude. It's actually not bad, no? Fucking mi I mean, it's not horrible. It's not good. It's not great. It's a Japanese car, but with the modifications that I made. Some parts are millimeters, some parts are fucking imperial. Okay, let's get this thing out. <laughs> this is gonna be so annoying. You forget how hard it is when shit's all buttoned up now. Perfect. Wanna oh, disconnect this part? What is that? What? Is that oil? That's oil. That must be from the intake. It must be what was left in the throttle body. We just did an oil change, and if you look, like that's hella dirty. So that's my old fucking G oil, which is not great. I did not want that going into the engine. You just wipe that thing on your shirt? Yeah. Okay. Fuck brake fluid. It's cotton next X. Next I don't have supply. any good rags around. Watch out, one second. So why we can't have nice things? Everything's why? fucking dirty, bro. Everything gets dirty because of this. That's what we got. Who needs nice things when you got a race car? Let's look like on the inside. The fucking flange face itself is a little dirty, but we're trying. We're being chilling? Being chilling. Okay, actually, you know what? I don't know what. Let me know. Let me know what. You mean the Allen key? Somewhere there? Oh my god, Satisfying cracks on these things. I'm just hoping that the flange face is within reason. For the throttle body, you're saying? Yeah. Because I think that this guy used gasket maker. I bought it with this throttle body. Oh, you're talking about making the frame wrong. Yeah. That's not horrible. Well, now what shall we do I with don't this guy, sir? I don't even think that's gasket maker. Zoom in on this. That looks like thread lock. Thread lock. You need that scotch powder. Eh? Yeah. Ooh, that does look like thread lock. It's on my shirt now. We're grabbing a scotch pad, or at least one of them. Right. Can you give it to me? I don't know if that's even looking at you, but there it is. It's not. Okay. Just give us a quick wipe and clean. You need to have a nice clean surface when you're... This I hit with the scotch pad before installing. So now let's clean this up, get the new throttle body on there and then install it all back together. I put the rag in there just in case any dirt or debris comes in. You can pull out the rag and most of it will come out.
Should have got brake clean, man. Damn, I cut my hand already. Should have got brake clean, yeah. You think acetone would help? I think some kind of scraper. Not a chisel, though. No, man, you need something just buff. Something with a little bit of grit. Sandpaper would be too rough, huh? Yeah. That shit's kind of caked on, brother. Yeah, it is on there. Um, Do you have a drill attachment with a, with any type of brush? See, that is not recommended technique. No, I'm trying to use the rounded edges of the metal. Just to catch this gasket. Okay, try doing the rest of the scotch pack because you got the majority of it off. No, I'm trying to get this, just this big stuff. Oh man, if you guys, I don't know if you guys can hear what I'm hearing right now, but this is fucking horrible. Zoom in. Hey, some more. It is pretty satisfying though, I can't lie. I'm trying to be gentle. So what's cool about this is that it actually has a really strong O-ring. It's not a gasket. So, yeah, right, can you go grab me the gray gasket maker? This is one of those things that's like, it's a problem for later. That looks like a whole lot, no? See some more. Okay. Now I want this logo to face up. Oh, now he's thinking about the, the drip. Bro, I paid full dollars for this fucking logo. I better get that shit. That's the other ring? Um, there's different size bolts. What you mean by? Yeah, I know, they're, they're links, they're not different sizes. Oh, they're just for the links, you're saying? Yeah. Now, because I use gasket maker, some of it squeezed inside. So I like to just tighten it all up. And the rest of it is going to seal with the O-rings. Like the plates that seal to themselves. I just wanted to make sure that this is all good. So let's just take some of the Diablo again. Get rid of some of that excess on the inside, yeah. eh? Gotta keep it looking clean. So this plate, actually, let me show you before I put it in. This plate has O-rings on both sides. So that's what I mean by oh, it seals to itself. Very interesting. You know what else is interesting? Mm. So, like I'm a plumber, right? So yeah. because, because like, we deal with rubber gaskets all the time. Like there's a lot of rubber gaskets in like water systems and stuff. And there's all, like there's actually like a huge like controversial debate on like rubber gaskets and what you're supposed to do with them. So for in terms instance, of lubrication or not? In terms of lubricate or not, yeah. Uh. So some people say that you should not rubber, uh, you should not uh, lubricate rubber gaskets because basically like if you lubricate it it slips the debate so is some people say you should not lubricate it because then the, the the gasket like just sits and it doesn't slip at all okay so it's like it's gripping okay some people say you should lubricate because it allows it to set into its final like resting point. So let's say you have like a gasket, like let's say you have like a rubber mat, and you have two pieces, like like one piece of metal under a rubber mat that's supposed to create a seal, and then like a, a let's say a metal pole. Okay. Some people say that if you if you put lubrication on it, that pole will start to slip, which I can kind of understand, and then that could cause like it might make it easier. If it's just flat, I feel like maybe leave it dry. But if it's set in like this, there's no place for it to go. Not really, at least. 
And especially if something's being compressed on top, it's, it's just gonna be sandwiched. It's not like it's just gonna slip out all of a sudden. That's what makes sense to me. You want to cap these off? Yeah, these don't, I don't need these anymore. I deleted them on the car. Oh, sick. That's what I'm saying. Like, I forgot to tell you, that's what we were capping. Cross, always cross. There you go. And that's Perfect. a big ass throttle body. Now we can get to work on the injectors. With the kinetics on them. The kinetics. You got that boy hell dirty though, cat. Trying to get in between this bitch to clean it would be impossible. Oh, she looks hard. What brand is this? CZP, Concept C. CZP. It's a hella confusing fucking logo. Change your logo, CZP. Uh, yo, <laughs> we don't have any rags or something. I want to plug these. Got this big ass t shirt they used last the time. Zip tie inside the engine. Yep. Got this big ass fucking t shirt. Give me that shit one second. Give me that shit. For some reason, I don't feel like this line's supposed to be ran over. I don't know. No, yeah, it is. It's supposed to go here. Valid. Might have just come loose, I don't know. Either way. Still missing a cap for this guy. If anyone would, would like to fucking donate. Fuck off. <laughs> Let's do that. Fair enough, I guess. Won't fuel come out if you take the injectors out? It it's will. still pressurized. It's no, it's just whatever was left. Okay, so make sure it's fucking sealed up nice. Watch out, don't worry. Don't worry too much for that. Give me extension. Here you are, brother. See if I'm right, because the I believe the injector should be in a closed position right now. <laughs> so they should hold the pressure that was left. I don't think spit spurred it out yet. Yeah, I'm right. W's in the shed. Well, we'll see once you actually take them out, right? I think here they might. Okay, now. Injector ports looking like looking a little cruddy, I'm not gonna lie. There's gonna be fuel on us. 
Why are you scared, bro? I was expecting that shit to why shoot you, out of my face right now. Why are you right scared, now. man? Holy. Why do you think I lifted it, bro? That's how fucking smart I am. Yeah, that shit you barely. Oh, shit, we got gas. We got gas right there. I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in Ain't it. Ain't got no gas in it. Do they sit taller as well? No, they're the same. Same, same, but, but different. different. But still same. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. Yonder. Everything looks good there. Let's get this one in. Good. Good. Give it a little bit of a shimmy. Imagine the Skibdy toilet generation trying to fucking build a car. Bro, what the fuck is that even? Ask our cousins, dude. Ask all of our cousins. Those little fucks. Skibbity toilet. <laughs> what does that even mean? Who came up with this bullshit, bro? No, the worst part is that they picked it up from grown ass adults. Yeah, right? Some grown ass man came up with that shit. <laughs> You know, I almost got in a fight with all of Not a fight, but altercation. Yeah, I heard. From who? Angie. What'd she say? She's like, she came down beefing this man because, like, Austin was getting bullied by these other man, these other little kids. Yeah, he told a bunch of British kids to start eating snails. Ha! <laughs> a legend. And then Augie's like, Shimmy, yeah, shimmy, shimmy, no. Man, that is hella close to bumping into the fucking valve cover. Look at this. I believe you. So this goes here. What you looking for? Oh, 
Well, that's a little bit better. Gives you like a finger and a half of space. But even if you were to run these lines, where the fuck would they go? Or do you think it was actually meant to be flipped upside down the other way? I don't know. This is in. Okay, now we can start putting that stud in. Is it these two that go together? Yeah. I don't know if I can fucking do this shit with one hand. No, I probably can't. This shit's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't wanna fuck it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck it. Start all of these. You know they're eight mil ratchet or wrench? No, don't worry. I'm gonna go grab another nut. Let's use this one. No, I need another nut for this one because when you tighten a stud, you don't want to tighten on that nut because that nut might just go loose. So you're gonna want to double it. So there you go. Now this is going in, and you want to hold on to just the top nut. Because the top nut pushes on the bottom nut and it doesn't let the bottom nut like come loose for no reason. There you go. No. How the fuck am I gonna get the top nut off? That's the question. There you go. You sure you did that tight enough? Who's asking? There you go. So I tighten the both ends just to keep it stiff. So now you want to kind of Whoa, go in a dude. zigzaggy ass pattern. Hit the front and the back one. I wonder what that rattling is. It might be the spring for the. Could be. Thought about it? Yeah. It's a great fucking idea. It's a bloody good idea. It's in the relaxed position right now, right? No, it's tense. What am I talking what about? Am I doing that? Super satisfying click right there. Holy shit. They're all satisfying. Clink. Now the problem is, hopefully this fucking still fits. Don't say problem, bro. Let's not start it out with that, all right? All right, we're good. Kind of. A pretty tight fit there, brother. It's gonna be a pretty tight fit there, brother. I'm ready to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, not to disappoint or something. I like heard, that. I heard everything's bigger in Texas. I would love to disappoint you. That's fucking hilarious. Did you use two clamps on that one? Yeah, that was broke. Super janky. <laughs> Damn, that is snug. Well, that is super snug. <laughs> Gotta watch your mouth. Family, fa family friendly. Nowhere does it say that. What do you mean, do you mean dude? Yeah, well, 
So they're good. That's about to be me. I am. Someone's just ripping that hole. What the fuck? What a back, man. Oh, you didn't tighten that thing all the way. No, I did tighten it. I loosened it when I was working on it. Oh, valid. Don't put it all the way in the throttle. That's what I'm now. trying not to do, dude. So I'll fucking judge Come you. Come on, dude. Dude. So you have to disassemble and then reassemble it bit by bit. Brick by brick. Building this shit. About white. What? About white? What did you say? What do you mean? I fucking say that. Watch out. That shit. Cameraman and the best labor out here. Good. Okay. Gotta be somewhere where that mounts, bro. It can't just be freestanding. No, like this that. mounts. I just fucking snapped that bolt forever ago. That's something I need to get fixed. So for now. What about this, this hanging guy? light? That's the that's the side marker. Valid. Keep the steering wheel on the kit. This guy wanted to get the freaking LED one. I don't know. I said I was thinking about it. I don't know, dude. It's ha like I said. I think it's tacky. I think it's a strictly supercar thing. And you're turning it on the ramps. That's fine. Is it straight? Yeah, now it's straight. Okay. Popping up? Nothing. No focals. Bad. She sounds good. I think the in, you can hear the intake way more. Bro, you should hear the fucking intake right now. Alright, we should be good. The intake sounds crazy. Uh, yo. Yeah. So we just ran. We just ran the we just ran the OBD2. There is no fault codes with the new throttle body and the injectors. Oil is in, everything is buttoned up. So now I'm gonna drop it and uh, just get it to Dyna whenever they come. I'm gonna call them now. I, Dyna had messaged me. Tony had told me that uh, he wants me there for 8:30. It's currently seven, so if they delay about half an hour to an hour, we should be there just on time. I'm really excited. It's my first time ever. I'm going to bring the camera as well so you guys can see what the tuning process is going to look like. And yeah, we'll find out.